Discover, this is Daniela. Hi, it's Jennifer Coolidge. I just want to thank you for making me feel so special. I earned cash back on debit for my dinner party groceries. That's great. But with Discover Cashback Debit, we give everyone cash back on everyday purchases. Anything else I can help you with? Do you like asparagus and mushroom sorbet? I've got leftovers. Introducing Discover Cashback Debit, a checking account with cash back. It pays to discover. Eligibility in terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to Pretty Lies and Alibis. Join us as we seek the truth and travel the long road to justice. This one. <laughs> That's Hi, a great everybody. Story, guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. We weren't quite ready, but we're ready now. I'm Gigi. Fruit Loop, what you know? Uh, nothing much. It's late. Good deal. Uh, big birthday shout out to Mikhail. She had a birthday last week. She's oh, our youngest happy follower. Happy birthday, girl. All right, let's jump right into our sponsor, Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. Look behind me. You can see part of my lovely quilt. I'm trying to find something to display it behind me. Go to two cool t-shirt quilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis. Check them out. They can get you a cool quilt or a pillow, all kinds of stuff. Holidays are coming. Get on it, y'all. That's right. All right. And there was can a... Take your t-shirt to make them into a quilt that is too cool. Yes. So we have two quick hearings to go over since this trial is starting tomorrow. There was a pre-trial hearing on November 18th. Jury selection starts tomorrow. But there's an evidentiary hearing, which was today, and we're going to get into that. But at the past hearing, the judge has banned any phones, laptops, recording devices in that trial. So it's going to be the old days. They'll sit in, these journalists will sit in there, make handwritten notes, come out and update when there's a break or something big happens. It's going to be a little bit harder to follow, but we're going to do it. The state agreed to keep the opening statements at 30 minutes. They will be allowed to use presentations such as PowerPoint. The judge reviewed witness lists for both sides and confirmed their connections to the case. And the defense has no objections to the list of witnesses, but reserved the right to object during trial. The prosecution estimates the case could take three, maybe up to four days, possibly. The prosecution witness expected for the end evidentiary hearing that happened today include Jim Bob. He did testify and a second prosecution witness, Bobby Holt, um, wife of former Arkansas state Senator Jim Holt. She took the stand and the uh, defense has four key witnesses. Two are investigators hired by them and they say they will provide non hearsay factual testimony a computer forensics expert, and someone who had access to Josh's office and computer. The judge ruled the day before this hearing that the witness would be permitted to testify. So the judge did rule, did not rule on allowing evidence from the molestation scandal in. He was supposed to rule today on the 29th. I don't think I have seen a ruling on that yet. The judge notes that the case and trial are going to be sensationalized, and he will factor that in when ruling. So today, Josh's attorney said that religious liberty existed to protect certain disclosures in certain contexts, and this is the epitome of those conversations, and I cannot disagree more. Oh, when, yeah. I, what do you think, Fruit Loop? No, that's, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I'm sorry. When somebody's committing a crime uh, that's molestation, that I think it should go out the window of your confidentiality with your pastor because you're a creep and Jesus wouldn't do that stuff. So they need to keep the church out of this stuff. Honestly, it's crazy. So <laughs> uh, today, newer news, Jim Bob was subpoenaed to testify, showed up. He was asked about what Josh admitted to him as a teenager when he molested his sisters and the babysitter. And during his testimony, Jim Bob said over and over, he couldn't remember the details of Josh's admissions and that he touched the victims during the proceedings 
as Jane Doe's one through four. They named them Jane Doe's one through four. Um, he said this was something for a young man to come forward, calling it a juvenile record and a sealed case. Later, he said, I can't remember when asked about the report and called it tabloid information. And Jim Bob said, I'm not going to allow it. Are you going to allow for that? He asked Timothy L. Brooks, the judge. After the prosecutors asked him to read a copy of the report, Jim, ba Jim Bob said, I'm not going to do that. But ultimately, he said his memory was not jogged by reading the report in his, in his hand. hand. And the judge said, if there is an objection to be made, someone will make it, but it won't be you. Boom. Right, <laughs> drop. Yep. So in the hearing today, family friend Bobby Holt said they had an hours long session after Josh admitted to molesting his sisters and the babysitter. He admitted to touching their breasts and genitals. And he started molesting girls when he was 12 and even admitted to digitally penetrating one. So in another instance, Josh had gone to live with the witness, Bobby, and her family. One evening in a conversation, Josh told Jim, Bob, and Bobby what he did to several victims. And yet in another instance, Bobby said Josh said that he went to one of the girls as she was sleeping and got up under her blanket to start touching her and she woke up and hit him. Then the girl told his parents. He told me she snitched on him. I and she says, I went to go tell Jim, Bob, and Michelle, but they said they didn't want to hear it. She later said people began to be aware something else happened in Little Rock that made Josh leave our home. She clarified it was unrelated to inappropriate touching, and she also said that it was a very bad time in their home when he was there. So there is a fight to allow this in the trial. The defense says this was two decades ago. And he says, let's have a trial about what actually happened in May of 2019. But I think it's a pattern and I think it totally fits in with where we are now. So I hope this judge allows that in. Yeah. Yeah. So it starts tomorrow. Jury selection. We're going to stay on top of it. We've got some accounts on Twitter. We're following. I'm going to, anytime they post something, I'm going to retweet it, start making notes and then Hopefully tomorrow night, what we'll do, put all that together, tell you guys about the first day of, of the trial. This is, a big, this is a big one. Everybody's interested in this, and we got you covered. All right, you guys have a great night. We will see you tomorrow. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, makes banking faster and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can. In the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC.